What is up? What is up, YouTube community? Welcome back to the Bean Boo channel. I want to thank you guys so, so much for all the love and support that you've shown us on our most recent video, Faith is a Lie. It's right here, right here, right here. Go check it out. Links will be in the description for the Faith is a Lie video on this channel and the Faith is a Lie video on her, her music channel where there are Korean subtitles and the English subtitle version. Um, yeah, guys, so what we're doing today is we're doing some street photography. We will be taking pictures, uh, focusing on three focal points of photography today. And those three focal points are negative space, juxtaposition, and vanishing points. So, uh, those are the three focal points I chose for this week because those are the three points I feel like I'm weakest in at the moment. Uh, but also three points that I have a lot of surrounding me of the areas where I'm at and the areas where I'm at frequently. Um, so we're going to be on the Upper East Side today taking some daytime photography, a, a daytime morning. It's it's not even noon yet, so I'm going to say like morning photography. <coughs> photography. Uh, we're going to go do that. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's get on into the video, guys. But before we do, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe down below so you guys can catch more videos like this, more videos like the music video, more videos like apartment tours, all types of good junk on this channel. So make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys can know when we post. Uh, I love you guys so much. Thank you again for your support. And let's get on into the video. Sure. And we're back. All right, so that was quite the adventure, guys. Let's go look at some of these pictures real quick. <laughs> so I was really, like, once again, I'm gonna edit this one too. It might be more apparent post-edit, but I mean, it's not more apparent post-edit. You, you know what's going on here. So this one, I like this one a lot. I like this one a lot. Yeah, I, I like this one a lot. I think the empty space that it makes, the shape of the empty space, I really thought that was super cool. So moving on. Oh, right. I like this photo. I'm just hoping it's not blurry because I had to take this one so fast. There was oncoming traffic, but I just saw something in this shot that I was like, oh, this. I think this adds a lot. I really like the juxtaposition of this photo there's a lot going on here as far as you know new architecture old architecture um the trees against the brick and then also against the steel you know the the off in a distance bridge but then all at the same time construction going on here we're gonna definitely add this to the edit i'm gonna see if i mean i don't like to do too much of the edit but obviously the highlights here are blown out a lot and there are a few things i could adjust color wise um, but yeah, we'll see if that will showcase a little bit more of what I'm talking about, but I really like this on the run on the move picture. There we go. This picture is crazy. I really, 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 really like this one a lot. Um, got to crop it a bit, but I think I also noticed that while shooting out there and I think I retook it. So let's move forward a bit. I did, but I like the angle of this one better. So I'm going to recrop it. I'm definitely going to crop it. Oh, see, like you see how this one, this one shows more of like, kind of like a, the feel I was going for. It's like a, not like a futuristic, but like a serious tone, more of like a serious, clean tone. And like, you know, when they do like um, future settings, but like, inside of a spaceship but it's like supposed to look like it's earth type type thing i love that's what i got from this everyone also thought i was a tourist today that's a, that's another thing so if if you go out for all these people all you people who don't know if you go out into your own city or your own place of residency but with a camera the first thought everyone has is that you're a tourist so it was really funny i had like three doormen try to give me directions today because they thought i was like asking for help but I was just like scouting out shots or just like nodding, like being polite, being like, hey, what's up? <laughs> but, yo, any, anyway, anyway. Okay, look, look, looks like I got closer. Okay, like, hey, look at me, look at me. I got closer. I got a little bit better of angles. I, I started squaring it up more to, to where we wanted to see. But, you know, I'm just now, now that I'm looking at it, 
now that I'm looking at these two old ladies right in front, kind of make, they're kind of a vibe. They're kind of a vibe a little bit. All right, all right, fashionable. You know what? I kind of, I kind of dig this photo. I really liked, personally, I really liked the, the, the presence of this building. It just showcases a lot in video. Um, photo shows it a lot as well. I mean, I know obviously you can see it, but it just, it just really stands out and sticks out. But it's a brick building, but it has like a, it has more of a feeling of like a, a steel newer architectural building but it's all brick you know it's all brick and it definitely looks like it was made a while ago just based off of when you get closer to it but man had a great presence if that makes any sense and the sky was just whew, really really outlined it i loved it love that shot moving on this is a simple nature shot simple nature shot that i wanted to capture um well once again i'll show you when i break it down but I, I just wanted to kind of get the hustle and bustle, you know, behind and just the, the nice calmness of the uh, tree leaves in front. They looked, they were so healthy, they looked fake almost. Like besides the little like bites that you can see, obviously from like bugs in some of the leaves, it looked literally fake <laughs> in person. So I was like, this is, this is, huh, this is something. It's so green. So let's move on from that shot. Here we go. Now, when I start framing the garden, the garden looks really, really nice. Framing the garden looks nice. It's a great use of space. It's a great use of lines. I really like that sh that shot. What is this? Zero five zero one eight. But let's see if I lined it up a little better. Okay. Okay. So this is a hard decision. I like the no dog sign poking, but I also like this like the way it's framed I think this is framed better all right so this this was pretty cool this is the uh, service entrance so service quarters so these are these are really nice apartment buildings uh, that have like doormen and service and laundry people for the residents in the building and they have their own entrance and exit you know to go in and out of the building i thought the bars encasing where they're supposed to enter and exit was pretty cool uh but weird at the same time but also pretty cool like uh so you see how at the top this is definitely to keep people out most likely is that they're curved but they're curved they're curved like down so that's it's so kind of easy to like not get hurt by that if you're trying to climb over this so i i honestly don't understand the architectural intention behind that if it was safety if it's not safety it looked really cool which is why i took a picture of it today i uh definitely have a better angle that i'm going to show you that we're going to use as the picture today to break down but this right here i took this just to encompass the whole thing just to showcase you a lot's going on like look at it look at all the metal like architecture they did on the just the entrance like it's pretty pretty cool and then just but like right on top of it right next to it it's just these straight bars that look like a prison cell almost but then it's got this beautiful floral um design built into it and then right at top it's just this like curved angled barred setup it, it was such a weird fence to me but i thought it was really really cool this is the shot we'll be using yeah, this shot's fire, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. When I look at the shot, I smile. This shot's fire, isn't it? I don't know how much I'm gonna put into post for this. I know the highlights are blown out a bit on the right side here, and up at the top. But th this photo is giving me the feeling of exactly what I wanted to give off when I took it. Ooh, ooh, it's intense. I like it. I like it so. Much. Oh, okay. <laughs> So I can at least explain the thought process behind what I'm trying to do here for the next couple photos. In my head and in person, I saw these beautiful flowers, right, set set in this little patch. It was in, betwe in between a whole bunch of construction, a whole bunch of work, and a whole bunch of traffic. But once again, looking at it in post, it's like, what was this idea, dude? What did you have? <laughs> Some of these are just nothing, dude. Some of these shots are like, what did, why? Why did you take them? And some of them are like, actually like super dope. So this is why I'm breaking it down with you guys. So you guys can see that, you know, they can't all be hits. 
So I, I wanted to do like kind of an elongating, but like not scary and not Halloween, but Halloween. You know what I'm saying? When I when I look at it though, I don't I don't know what I'm getting from this photo. So yeah, you want to look at this photo for me? Turn it. Okay. So this is gonna go into post, and we're gonna rotate it. We'll add a little note to that. Thank you for that. Okay. All right. So this house, house, this apartment building, apartment complex, apartment situation. It's just like it's the only white one in, in, uh, in between a bunch. I keep wanting to say in betwixt. That's why I keep pausing, by the way. I keep wanting to say in betwixt or in betwux, but it's in between. Anyway, it's in between these two brick buildings that are also apartment complexes, but it just has its own unique, like, ah, je ne sais quoi flavor to it, you know? And I really wanted to capture that, so I'm hoping that one of these does it. This does it okay. Uh,. I think it does it okay. I think I, I like it enough, but I want to see if it can do it some more. If I took any of it doing some more. Nope. Because the thing is, like, if I, if I had it my way, I would have been able to get a little bit higher of a shot. And uh, really showcase off not only the tree in front of it, but how tall the buildings were. <sighs> but, you know, couldn't really do that because, you know, I'm ground level and I couldn't get up anywhere behind me all right so now we get to this cool door uh that that came at the top of it this door was unique to me because of the architecture of the wood for one it looked like it came straight off of like a pirate ship uh two the light at the top right uh right here made it feel very harry potter-esque so did this right here but also very like just of that time, like Sleepy Hollow time, you know, like Headless Horseman type era. It just reminds me of that. So I took a way better. I was trying to do like a over the top, like ooh, crouch perspective, but it doesn't really look that cool to me. Um, what obviously looks way better is what's going to come up here soon. I think this. Well, actually. I said, obviously. I don't know if it obviously looks better, actually. <laughs> I think the other one might have been a bit better. Like, I'm not even gonna hold you. I think the one with the, with the brick in front of it might have been cooler. I think I might just have to rotate this one as well. Not like that. not mean like that but zero five three eight. you know what's ridiculous i just realized that i could have done this in lightroom and then done the edits while in lightroom <laughs> oh i'm an idiot <laughs> okay so this area i thought was cool but then it also wasn't as cool as I thought it was while I started shooting it because it really started to frustrate me. So I was trying to get at first just some sort of leading lines example that was just going to be unique and not just a straight up. This is a driveway. Duh. This is a pole. Nah. You know what I'm saying? But and you see them all over the place like they're they're everywhere. They're in the brick you know leading you to what you want to see which now that I'm looking at it this way I feel like I could have taken a photo over here and used the brick but they're over here as well they're on the they're on the walls they're on the well, you know what the more I look at this photo actually I think this first one kind of encapsulated what I wanted because of that there there is so much leading to where you want to go and what you want to see
all right guys that'll be it for today's video please make sure to like comment and subscribe down below hit that notification bell so you can know when's the next time we post go check out beanboo.com for all of your creative necessities and uh, yeah guys just thanks again for everything go show us some love on our most recent posts show us some love on this post and once again thank you for the support love you guys peace